I want to show you how to apply a liquify filter. But before we do that, I still want to address the hair around the cheekbone. And this is a little bit complicated because we have the fine hair that's in front of our earring. Here it's easy to get rid of the fine hairlines, but here I'm going to show you how you can um, use the clone stem tool. So on the same layer, on the facial hair and general fixes, we're going to use again the healing brush tool. We're going to make it smaller and get rid of these dark fine hairlines. All right. But what now? What about now? What are we going to do with these ones? Well, we are going to use again our pen tool to make a quick selection where our jawline exactly where our jawline is now make it wider make a selection with a zero feather radius now let's just use our clone stem tool and exactly the same thing that we did on our lips we're gonna do again here stamp and move on stamp and move closer to the face if you're getting harsh lines just decrease the opacity and go twice on the same area just like this we're gonna move down here don't worry, we're gonna address this part later, but now let's move on on the easy part. Always start with the easiest parts and then go back on the hard parts. This way you're gonna save time in your workflow. Now, on this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the hardness of my brush. And then again, make my brush smaller, increase my opacity. And then again, I'm gonna rebuild the earring. Because we have many textures here, it doesn't have to be perfect because we don't even know how the actual earring looked, but looks like a flower here. We can take the, some parts of the image around and rebuild this earring. just like this now let's see how it looks I click W deselect and look at this now this is before and this is after now control a again edit copy merge 
and paste in the new place. And I'm gonna call this layer liquify. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the liquify filter, even if our model doesn't need to be, she's already skiddy, she doesn't need to be fixed up or anything, we can still enhance some things. Uh, and I'm gonna show you uh, what I actually do in the liquify um, uh, filter. We are going to select filter and liquify. We already open up this filter when we edit the hairlines, but I'm gonna show you up what I what I'm doing. So I see some minor minor problems here with the position of the model. It shows up the bone here, and we can round this up a little bit. So again, I'm hold, I'm hitting W and the brush size it's okay and i'm pushing this shoulder bone back and i think i'm satisfied about how it looks it looks natural sometimes when you are uh, shooting a model um, if the pose is not perfectly arranged you might uh, depending on the pose, you might see uh, the arms of the model a little bit bigger or depends on the angle. So using Liquify, uh, you are able to fix that later in, in the post. Or maybe you are a photo editor and you received already the pictures from another photographer that didn't pay attention to the model pose and how the arms look or maybe uh, the double chin or maybe other features it, it's a strange angle where it's a, an angle from above and you might need to fix things liquify is your friend but keep in mind keep things natural i want to also fix this ear but for this i'm going to decrease my brush size and i'm going to round it up a little bit You can increase or decrease the size of the brush using the square brackets on your keyboard. Just like this. Perfect. I'm going to give you an advice. Each time you modify something in Liquify, just hit OK, go back to Photoshop, look at it. Is it good? OK. Let's move on. Let's go again with uh, Liquify. Don't modify everything. Let's say you have to modify the chin and then you need to modify the legs or the arms. Don't modify everything at once and then hit OK. You might not like it and you will need to go back. So save yourself some editing time uh, doing one step at a time. Now, what I want to address is this part of the nose because I, I was uh, having my front light above and I needed to bring the light a little bit closer to her. Uh, this shadow makes her nose look a little bit bigger and I know that her nose is not like this. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna click S, I'm just gonna use this icon here, no, this one, this is for enlarge things and this is for, uh, this is a shrink tool. I'm just gonna make my brush bigger and the pressure you can't increase, then I'm just gonna hit one click. That's it. One or two clicks. And that's it. Now I'm gonna move back to our liquify tool and then I'm gonna bring this part up a little bit and then this part down. Notice how I didn't make it smaller, I just adjust it so it can look better. Okay, let's click OK. Now look at this before 
and after, before and after. It's the same nose. We didn't make it smaller. We didn't uh, make it like a Russian doll surgery kind of thing. Uh, and now we're gonna move even further with our liquify adjustment. This feature of the people, uh, now we are editing a picture of a beautiful model because uh, we had this shooting for a jewelry campaign, but in your portrait photography, uh, keep people's uh, futures on uh, because this is what makes them really, really beautiful. Now, what I want to make is to equalize these lips. Because of the position of the model, it might give us a little strange perspective. Well, this is looking fine. Let's zoom out. And another beautiful option that the new uh, version of Photoshop has is this button here that is called Face Enhancement. And this uh, option already recognizes the face and you can directly modify the jawline directly from here. You can modify the nose. You can make the eyes bigger and things like this in one simple step. I'm just gonna go back with this. All right. What am I gonna do? If I'm looking at the image, I can see that her right eye is smaller than her left eye. And I'm gonna make this eye a little bit bigger and also this eye one millimeter bigger. I'm gonna use oh, again the liquify brush tool. I'm gonna increase the size and what I like to do to give more expression into a model's face is to push the eyebrows from this corner a little bit up like this. Well, not like this exactly, but like this. See what I'm doing? I'm pushing this eyebrow a little bit. I think I'm gonna decrease the size of my brush. So just like this. Also, I'm gonna make the eyes a little bit rounder. I'm gonna make the arch of the eye to look rounder. That's it. Nothing less, nothing more. It looks natural, it looks beautiful. Now you just learn how to use the liquify filter.